Well now that that's completely dry, I've taken the masking fluid off the three main trees. But before I paint them, I'm going to start with some greens and some pale grey colours to paint some distant trees. And I've just mixed a new colour made of cobalt blue, manganese violet and burnt sienna. This is sort of like a warm grey. And so with the liner writer brush, I'm going to start putting some distant trees in, starting at the left hand side. Important to use this liner writer brush to create these really fine branches. I'm going to add a touch of water to the paint to thin it slightly. If I thin the paint as I go along and then use some slightly thicker in some areas, that creates that, helps to create that feeling of depth. Getting them in at different depths of the picture as well to create a feeling of distance. Okay, so we'll need to leave that to dry. So now that that's dry, we'll start painting in these main trees. It's important with these that you start with the one furthest away and work towards the foreground. I've got a mixture here of raw sienna and burnt sienna, and I've also got a mixture of cobalt blue, manganese violet and burnt sienna, because I want a light and a dark side to the trunk. I'm starting with the large detailer, painting the raw sienna and burnt sienna onto the trunk. And then before that has a chance to dry, I'm going straight in with this browny gray mixture. Just letting that drift across so it looks cylindrical. And then when I get so far up, I don't need to worry about the lighter color. I can just carry that on out of the scene with that browny gray. Then I'm going to pick up the liner writer and do a, do a few fine branches from it. Just going out of the top of the scene there, using that liner writer brush to keep the branches nice and fine. Now it's the same thing with this right hand tree, but I'll swap to a bigger brush so I've got the number eight and I've got the raw sienna and burnt sienna and again I'm going to put that colour in, trying to work quite rapidly so that I'm ready to put the darker colour in before this dries. I've noticed that there's a hint of green on this trunk as well so I'm going to add a little touch of lemon yellow and a little touch of aureolin and cobalt blue in. Those greens I used in the background. And then straight away, I'm going in with the mixture of manganese violet, cobalt blue, and burnt sienna. Onto the dark side of the trunk. Allowing them to merge in on the paper. Okay, let's go a little bit higher. Got the large detailer and that raw sienna and burnt sienna. Again, let's put a little touch of the lemon yellow in for that, that hint of green. And then the brownie gray mixture, which we can then take right off the top of the scene. Bit more cobalt blue and manganese violet to add a touch of purple into it. And then to really make that stand out, I've just got a little brush full of burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. Important that the dark side of this tree trunk is darker than the background and the light side is lighter to give us that cylindrical feel. Now with that dark brown on the brush, let's take a branch off lower down. I need to thicken that slightly so it looks strong enough to support some finer branches. This one here and then with the detailer brush we'll have a few more fine branches coming off that and going right across the scene and out of the top.
And then around the base of the tree, I just need to soften that into the ground. And a little touch of lemon yellow to suggest a few grasses and leaves and things around the base of the tree. I'm just going to take the large detailer brush and just lift a little bit of colour out from the brighter side of the tree, just to get it that touch brighter. And that's just a damp, clean brush which will lift a bit of colour off. And the next tree is going to be painted using the exact same method.